Hello and Assalamu alaikum. Good day, class. Our lesson today will be on page 60 in our Get Smart Plus 4 textbook. Today, we're going to learn to tell the time using an analog clock. What is an analog clock? An analog clock is a clock or watch that has moving hands and usually hours marked from 1 to 12 to show you the time. Today, we will be looking at the intervals of 5 minutes past and to the hour. This hand is a minute hand and this short hand is the hour hand. The first half of the clock is the minutes past the hour and the second half of the clock is the minutes to the next hour. In this lesson, we will be looking at 5 minutes past and to the hour. The minute hand tells us how many minutes has passed. Starting from 12, it is 0 minutes has passed. Each small increment is 1 minute. So at this point, 1 minute has passed. So 2 minutes has passed. 3 minutes, 4 minutes, and 5 minutes. So each number on the clock is 5 minutes. We can count in fives. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, and 55 minutes. So, when we get back to 12, 60 minutes has passed. This is one hour. Before we go further, there is something that we need to know about time. We usually say 15 minutes, right? So, do you know that we can also say 15 minutes as a quarter, which means satu suku. In an hour, we have 60 minutes. So, a quarter means 15 minutes. Meanwhile, for 30 minutes, we can also say it as half or separoh. This is because half of an hour is 30 minutes. Separoh daripada satu jam ialah 30 minutes. Okay, for example, the clock here shows 7.15 a.m. 15 minutes has passed the hour. So, in formal way, we can say it as a quarter past 7 in the morning. As we can see, 15 minutes has passed from here. Another example is this. It is not stated whether it is a.m. or p.m. So, we can say it as 6.45 a.m. How can we tell it in a more formal way? We can say it as a quarter to seven in the morning. As we can see, there are another 15 minutes to the next hour. Ada 15 minit lagi untuk ke jam seterusnya. That's why we say it as a quarter to seven. So now, on page 60, in your textbook, please read this together. One. Where are the children going to go tomorrow? Listen and read. Good morning, class. Tomorrow we're going to go on a school trip. Where, Mrs. Rama? We're going to visit the zoo. Wow! How are we going to get there? By bus. How long does it take by bus? It takes about 40 minutes, Greg. Yeah. What time does the bus leave? The bus leaves at 10.10 10 in the morning. So, we're going to arrive at the zoo at 10.50, right, Mrs. Rama? Yes, Greg. Is that all? Yes. 
Thank you, Mrs. Rama. Good that we have read that. Now let's check your comprehension on how to read the time. Note that leave bermaksud bertolak. Meanwhile, arrive at bermaksud sampai atau tiba pada. Let's try this first question. Number one, what time does the train leave from Warden? Bermaksud pada pukul berapakah kereta api bertolak dari Warden? Now class, look at Warden and the time. It leaves at 8.15 or we could write it normal, formally as it leaves at quarter past 8. Okay, we can try this question. What time does the train arrive at Green Park? Bermaksud pada pukul berapakah kereta api tiba di Green Park? Okay, look at the timetable. Tengok jadual. Find Green Park. Okay, cari Green Park. And look at the arrival time. It is 8.55, right? Okay, class, we know that 8.55 means... There is another 5 minutes before the next hour, which is 9 o'clock. So, we say it arrives at 5 to 9. 5 minutes sebelum pukul 9. 5 to 9 means 8.55 o'clock. So, your task, please complete the task or exercise for today. You can find it in our WhatsApp group later. Or you can take the worksheet at Ruang Santai Sekolah and please follow the further instruction. So, I guess that is all for our class today. Thank you for your time. Stay safe, stay at home. See you again. Assalamualaikum.